Guys, we are battening down the hatches, uh, getting ready for a bit of weather for the next week. I see there's lots of rain predicted. Um, I am about to do a red pepper pesto, which is something that uh, it's on one of the dishes at, at Marble at the moment, and it's incredible with red meat. It's lovely with pasta. Um, it's it's just a lovely additive, like pesto is. You know, it's just just lovely to add to things. But it's made with red peppers and uh, and, and nuts, um, essentially. That's the, the bottom line. So. Just to run you quickly through the ingredients, as you can see on the tray we have peppers that we've cut into quarters and take the pips out, we've got a bit of fresh basil, we've got almonds, we've got garlic, we've got a um, lemon, red wine, vinegar and a bit of olive oil and Carlos the sushi and the slips. Okay, so those are the those are the, the ingredients and it's such a simple recipe. Put the oven on grill, okay? So if it's got a grill, um, got an element on the top, put the oven on grill. Pop your peppers in to your dish. The nice thing is that everything that I've done here at home um, over the last couple of days, I've used no sort of industrial equipment. You haven't, I've literally, you've got everything that that you have it available at home, you can then use for all of these recipes that I'm that I'm messing around with. Okay, thanks for all the love for the slippers. I really appreciate it. I wish the food got as much love as the slippers got, but maybe, maybe, maybe next time. Just a splash of olive oil. Okay, of course that little bit of olive oil. So what happens now is we we grill these peppers until they start blistering. Okay, so they go black on the top, they start blistering. Um, then what you do is, as they come out of the oven, you wrap it in foil. And that, that steam that, that, uh, that it creates and that, that, uh, that heat that it creates loosens the, um, the skin from the, from the pepper. But as it stands, it gets a beautiful syrup in the bottom as well, that red pepper syrup together with the olive oil. I'm going to touch more olive oil on that. Just a splash on Okay. Um, and that syrup that formed then is, uh, is absolutely lovely. I will post the recipe so you don't have to worry too much. Okay, so there you go, there you have it. And then that then goes into the oven. Now somehow, I'm gonna try and piece this recipe together for you. Okay, oven is on grill. You can see the elements are red hot. And in the, the try and find the hottest place. Okay, there's the red elements with the red pepper. The red elephants with the red pepper. Oh my goodness. Thank you, boy. Thank you, boy. Okay, all in. We'll be back. Right, we are back. More news like that. The beautiful sun. Okay, there's enough heat there now. As soon as we wrap that. As little foil as possible. Ooh. That's warm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Use a yammer lappy. Let's keep that all in. Okay, and we just let that. Yes, I bet it's It's very hot. Okay, so we're just going to let that steam a little bit. I'm just going to leave that right there. And what? After about an hour or so, what will happen is that the. Uh, that the skin will sort of loosen from the from the flesh, and they're very easy to peel because you want to peel it before you uh, before you blend it. Okay. So the other thing I've done while you've uh, while you've been waiting, um, I've chopped a little bit of garlic, and I've dry roasted in a pan in a dry pan. Okay. The almonds, just dry roasted. You can use flaked almonds if you want. You can use other forms of nuts, pine nuts. Um, you can use macadamia nuts. I've just used almonds because I I have them. Uh, switch off the oven because you don't want to waste electricity. Um, here we go, pour off, and that is about it. So, that is the next step. Only thing we need to do now is we need to peel these, okay? Put it into a blender with the nuts, the garlic, the lemon, the basil, the red wine vinegar, and the olive oil. It's as simple as that. 
but I will show you. Since the last time we spoke, it's been nightfall. Um, I've done the steak video in the meantime, and, uh, and I'm still trying to post everything. Um, apparently, I'm getting a, a quicker line soon, by the end of the week. Um, I've made an application. Anyway, so I've peeled the peppers. Remember what we did? We uh, I, mean, I don't have to remember because because I've cut the video. I use Splice. Splice is an app on on the App Store thing, and uh, and now I don't have to explain to you what I just did. Okay, so we've taken the foil off. Um, there's this beautiful residue in the bottom. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, I've peeled all of those just to show you how quick and easy that is. Literally. I mean, literally, you can actually even just, you don't even need a knife, you can just peel that, peel that right off, look at that, look how beautiful that is. So easy. And it's so soft, those are lovely now to put into salads and that kind of thing, you know, instead of, instead of the hard, crispy ones. Although the flavor does change, so, you know, if you want the hard, crispy ones, that's also good. But look how easy that was, beautiful, soft, soft, soft. So, what I said was, and what I want you to keep in mind was this beautiful liquid on the bottom. Oh, let me just... Get a spoon out here. <clears throat> that beautiful liquid in there just to show you. Okay. Don't throw that away. Okay, do not throw that away. Alright, so that's in there. Okay, I'm gonna pour that into a, into a container. Finger is the best spatula at home. Okay. So that's in there. And what I am going to do is I'm just going to cut these peppers into slightly smaller pieces because what, what happens in the blender um, is that sometimes if they're big and chunky, it doesn't work. So like I don't have a Thermomix here. Um, I've, just got the, I've just got the little stand-up blender. So I'm just going to cut them into smaller, smaller pieces. So, so I've been telling you about this, about this app that I've downloaded. It's called Splice. And then, and then you can now cut and paste it. But I've had it for like four days, and I still haven't figured it out. So what I thought today was to eventually Google YouTube and, and to actually see. So it took me about three seconds, and, and I got I got it sorted. It's amazing how we don't we don't use our technology that's available to us. Anyhow, there it is. However, what has happened now in all this posting and editing and cutting and everything else is that I had to eat my steak without the red pepper paste. <laughs> uh, the joys, the joys. Okay, so into the bowl with that beautiful sauce. And you can just, just the flavors that develop, the sweetness that develops from vegetables when you roast them is just, um, it's just quite special really. Okay, there's the little skins. Not really much you can do with those, throw them into the compost. All right, and now we're gonna head over to the blender that is set up behind me over there. Right, we have the blender, it's off. Trusty friend. Alright, let's put that in there. <laughs> let's try and get it all into the tender jug, shall we? Okay, so I am again to post this. Uh, I am going to post this recipe um, because yeah, you want to get the you want to get the quantities right. Uh, I'm just doing it by feel because I'm a professional. Um, don't try this at home, kids. Um, yeah, you don't want to make an expensive mistake at this sort of stage. All right, so let's just actually talk about. Let's put the, the lid on there before we forget. Okay, a splash of red wine vinegar. What the vinegar does, it, it just brings out the it brings out the flavor really, and it, it loosens those taste buds. So the red pepper and the red wine vinegar work incredibly well together. This dish wouldn't be what it is, or this side dish wouldn't be what it is without the uh, without the red wine vinegar. So I put a splash of red wine vinegar in there. I might take a little bit more just now. Uh, olive oil. Okay. Just remember it's a pesto. Okay, so don't be alarmed by the amount of oil that I'm putting here. Um, you're only going to use a spoon. You use so little. Can you think about the pesto that you're using one portion? It's literally a tiny teaspoon. Alright, so I've put a drop of, uh, a drop, put a few drops of that into it. And I'm just going to pop that on there. Just pulse it. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry about that. That was... It's 
excuse my language. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I've got, <laughs> I've got the olive oil in there. I've got the red wine vinegar in there. Just a little bit of garlic. Okay, I'm gonna put some nuts in. <laughs> Not my nuts, the almonds. And I've, I promise to God I haven't had anything to drink. Okay, and a little bit of basil. Basil in there as well. Okay, and salt. All right, that's all in there. Put the lid back on. Lower heat. Take this away. Just a squeeze of lemon, just to finish. <laughs> Let's not repeat that. Just the juice of about half a lemon in there. It's a form of sauce as well, you know. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The flavor is unbelievable. Just have a look at this. I'm just gonna pour it in here so you can just see. You can obviously put less um, olive oil and less vinegar and stuff in to make it a little bit more firm. But I mean, just, just, just look at that. All right. Perfect. Right, and there you have it. That is the red pepper pesto that you can serve with a bit of pasta that's come out of the pot, straight out of the pot, just fold that pasta through with it, a bit of chicken, a bit of red meat. It works incredibly well with red meat. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a flippant mission. I think we've <laughs> been cooking for about four hours on that thing. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun was had. So uh, so thanks very much, man. It's, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to, to keep you all entertained. Thanks for the messages, keep them coming. Um, we'll see you on the other side. We're going to get through this. Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching the watching the video. You might wonder what we are doing on YouTube and why have we, we got this channel. And as you see, um, all of this happened during lockdown. Uh, COVID-19 is where this, uh, this YouTube, channel, YouTube channel started and, and one of the big things for me was to uh, during this this lockdown period and especially being in the hospitality industry and owning a restaurant was to be able to look after my team and my staff and uh, basically we we um, we have taken my book mile eight and uh, all the sales and all the proceeds to the book or from the book and um, go to our, our staff fund which is which is pretty special so you can go to the marble uh, marble website and you can purchase your book there um, and I think that's just really where, where we are with this channel as well. I think whatever money is raised from this channel, um, obviously we will uh, we need to cover for for production costs and and, uh, and so forth of the of the channel itself. But uh, uh, majority of the proceeds will also then go to a fund, and that fund is going to be ongoing for uh, for. Yeah, it'll be ongoing after COVID and everything else. Because I think one of the biggest things that we realize is how vulnerable um, ourselves and our staff become in, in situations like this. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Tune in for the next one. Cheers, guys.